Buying crypto can seem extremely complicated, but coming from someone who's both lost and gained money in the crypto space, there's tons of things I've learned over the three years I've been investing. And this is the video that I wish I saw at the beginning of my crypto investing journey. Using these strategies, I've been able to secure a 600% return from my Solana investment and avoid losing over 80% of my money during market crashes. So during this video, we'll be taking a look at the best investments you can make, some of the safest storage options and the exact step-by-step -step process of actually buying crypto and all you need to get started is just $50. With Bitcoin historically losing up to 80% of its value, making the wrong investment can quite literally cause you to lose all of your money. That's why the first thing we'll be looking at is what you should be investing in. So this is where the Bitcoin halving comes into effect. Now this is a special event that happens every four years and I won't get into the finer details of what the halving exactly is but in a nutshell the mining reward for bitcoin gets cut in half so that means the supply gets reduced but the demand is high and therefore the price will go up so with the price changes for altcoins versus bitcoin it's largely related to the market cap of that crypto you can see that the market cap for solana is 71 billion dollars in comparison to bitcoin which is 1.1 trillion so with a smaller market cap less money is needed to drive the price up and down and this means during a bull run when the crypto market is doing well old coins will see a bigger jump in price but this does happen in reverse when there's a bear run and the whole crypto market is doing poorly then you'll see old coins take a bigger hit but bitcoin will provide that extra stability so i used the halving events to my advantage i was able to invest into solana which i purchased at 25 dollars and now at the time of recording it's sitting at 150 $55, so up to a 600% return on the investment. So if we go through the historical price increases from these halving events, in November of 2012, Bitcoin was just 12 US dollars. And then one year later, it went up to 964 USD. During the second halving event of July 2016, Bitcoin went up over 2,800%. Bitcoin went from $657 up to over $19,000 in value. And then the third halving event of May 2020, which was the most recent one prior to the one that we're currently in, Bitcoin was valued at $9,500 in May of 2020. And then in March of 2021, it went up to $61,000. So a 540% increase in just 14 months. So with any of these halving events, they don't always have a constant increase in price. They do have a very big run but what goes up must come down and when it comes down it comes down very strongly up to 80 percent drops are common within the cryptocurrency space and this is again due to the market cap if you take a look at the total value of the american stock market which is 45 trillion dollars in comparison to the value of the whole crypto market which is only two trillion dollars this change in value means a lot less money is needed to drive the price up or down for the cryptocurrency space. A consumer research report from Easy Crypto and Protocol Theory surveyed over 1,000 Australians to better understand their perception around crypto. The report showed that 64% of the people surveyed felt that it would be easier to invest smaller amounts of money into the crypto market, making it a more accessible investment option than real estate. Crypto is slowly growing and closing the gap in in terms of accessibility. Knowing how crypto works is very important. It's a common barrier that people face. With the consumer research report showing that 70% of people find the information related to crypto challenging to understand. If you would like to get a copy of the report, you can find a link to it down below in the description box. Safe storage is another key part of the crypto space, but there are so many options to pick from. Where do you actually start? Firstly, you have 
have the option to leave the money on the exchange you bought your crypto from. Let's say you buy some money from Coinbase, it's possible to just leave the funds on the platform, but this is very risky. Since in the past, exchanges have gone bankrupt or have been hacked. Most recently, FTX has gone bankrupt. Billions of dollars of investors' money has been lost, and I've personally experienced this firsthand. I lost four and a half thousand dollars. Thankfully, I was able to get that money back, but it wasn't clear if I'd ever see those funds again. So one of the main storage options is a software wallet. It's a free downloadable program, normally compatible with your smartphone or your computer. The one that I started with is called Exodus. You can find it both on the Google Play or the App Store. It just adds an extra layer of security and it's completely free. It's much better than just leaving your money on the exchange where it's the most vulnerable. The wallet is protected by a password and a seed phrase, which is a string of 12 words all put together that can be used to unlock your wallet if you forget your password. So software wallets do have their limitations. For example, if you download some malware like a keylogger, someone can gain access to your wallet or if they somehow find out what your seed phrase is, then they can drain your wallet as well. So that's where hardware wallets come in. These are a physical device. I personally have a Trezor Model T and hardware wallets are called cold storage because they have no access to the internet. They're secured by pin code and if someone wanted to steal your funds, they would need the actual wallet and also the password to unlock it. Now there's cheaper versions than my Trezor Model T. There's a Trezor Model 1 and the biggest difference is the number of coins that it supports, its interface, and the native program you use to interact with the wallet. Next, we'll be going through the process of actually buying some crypto. So to do this, I'm going to be using an exchange called Easy Crypto and I'll be storing my funds on the Exodus wallet. So firstly, on Easy Crypto or whatever platform you're using, Coinbase or Binance, they're all pretty much the same in terms of the process you use to buy the crypto. So on Easy Crypto, click on buy in the top right corner, select the type of crypto that you want to purchase. Let's say we want to buy Bitcoin, type in how much Bitcoin you'd like to buy and then it'll ask you for a wallet address. So jump over to your Exodus wallet, search the crypto that you're purchasing. So we're buying Bitcoin and then you click on receive and this will give you a string of letters and numbers and think of this like your bank account number. So copy that and paste it into Easy Crypto because you're sending the funds from Easy Crypto over to your Exodus wallet. So make sure the first letter and number at the start and the end of your wallet address is the same. If this is not done correctly, your funds can be lost forever. It doesn't matter if you transfer $100 or $100,000. You have to make sure that this wallet address is perfectly copy and pasted just to make sure your funds stay nice and safe. So then it'll ask you lastly for a payment option. Now there's a fee for whenever you purchase your crypto and there's a few different payment options. You can either pay with a debit card Card, or you can also log into your internet banking and this is account to account. This is personally what I use. It's got cheap fees. You get near instant access to your crypto after you buy it. It normally takes just a few minutes for the crypto to show up in my Exodus wallet but when you first make your initial purchase it might take 24 to 48 hours. Even after you've bought crypto a few times it might still take one or two days to arrive. So those are all the steps you need to actually purchase some crypto but that still leaves one of the biggest challenges to overcome with purchasing crypto. You also have to know which platform you should use, which one will offer the cheapest fees, access to the best investments and have an easy to follow design. If you want to know the answer to these questions and find out which platform is the best for you, then make sure to check out this video on screen to see a complete guide of the different crypto exchanges that you can choose from.